Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 10 of our playthroughs House of Spartanus and Crusader Kings 3. We are in 933 AD playing as Desperate Sergius. We're 31 years old. We're humble, content and lustful as well as being a deviant and having found our soulmate, flagellant, comely woman named Agnes, uh, a Catholic Rhinelander. We've been uh, getting on with our carnal pleasures for the last uh, about 13 years as we've become, I think Sergius became king when he was 18 or so. Um, and we have fathered four sons, so Prince Porphyrios, Pancratius, one Princess Anna, Prince Manuel, who's a leper, unfortunately, and sadly, and Prince Dionysius. Last, but not least, and certainly not actually the very last of our children, I'm sure. I'm sure Sergius and uh, Agnes, you know, have something left in the tank still. And yeah, and Sergius is the king of Sicily, with his father having actually created the kingdom. He's humble and content, so he's content to really not do much, although we have had to field a rebellion by our brother Pascalis of uh, Salerno, Duke, the Duke of Salerno. And our half-brother Prince Marcus of Sicily, the Duke of Calabria. Um, he's not very happy with us. Okay, he's a powerful vassal that's not on the council. So we could... Uh, yeah, he's a flamboyant trickster with a lot of a lot of intrigue. I'm not sure we really want him on our council. That would add 40 to his opinion. Which is not much, frankly. We could give him County of Rosano. But only if we ourselves get another County from somewhere. And hang on a second. Well, let's pause. In fact, no, we can unpause. We can keep the time rolling because... Um, because Burgundy... What is this? County of Bari. The Liege... Court Grandeur level decreased to level 2. Let's check that. But, ooh, hang on a second. What happened here? So the kingdom of... The mighty kingdom of Italy has... Whoa. That is uh, a lot of red. A lot of fires. King Lothair III, the Griffin of Burgundy. What happened here? Defending against Duke... Vizion of Provence in the war against the tyranny of King Lothair III. Let's keep this rolling. So who is at war with whom? Everyone is at war with everyone. It seems allies 17. Duke Vizion of Provence. Okay. So I guess if we do Kingdom of Burgundy. What's, what's Burgundy exactly? Wait, hold on a second. Corsica? <laughs> okay. Arkness, Arconessa Rikildis of Corsica, Catholic Sardinian. What's going on? We have the Most Serene Republic of Venice formed here. Not really. Okay, it's Burgundy versus. Okay, it's Burgundy. And it's embroiled in a civil war. We were gonna actually at some point marry off one of our. Uh, King Robin the Fowler of the Thuringia. What was that around her? Locating that rash. Duchess is Agnes's court physician. This with this against the pregnant, as I said. Didn't lose any time. Theophilactus Melancronis is an experienced fighter. Uh, lustful, callous, and shy. Okay, recruit to court. 60. I mean, guys, we are, he's 31. Fine. He might serve us for a while. 60 for a night. 19 prowess. Sure. We are converting legion to Salerno. See, we're changing culture in Benevento. We, okay, we're building hamlets in Apulia. In Trani. Trani, okay. So let's just keep... Hmm. Yeah. Well, we're humble and content, so we can't really make any plans. I doubt. Desperate Sergius is only interested in one thing in this world. Oh, poor, poor Prince Manuel. Let's go ahead and just check our children and their education. So, 
our son is a you know, he's focused on learning. Okay, let's go ahead and quickly unlock one of the perks. Your lovers are less likely to join murder schemes against you. Lovers are more likely to save you in a case of attempted murders. Let's go ahead and mortal adoration. Adoration. Our wife. Yeah, so our first two sons are both curious and pensive. Oh, okay, Prince Pancratios, I don't think he's taken up learning quite as well as our heir. That's interesting. You don't often get uh, a high learning ruler, I think. Till death do us apart. This Patissa Agnes has been murdered. Wife, as you drew your last breath, relief washed over me. Perhaps I should be ashamed. But in truth, there was no love lost between us. Finally, I am free to start my life anew. Not one day too soon. Your wife, Despotissa Agnes, has died 20 stress. What? Why do we lose 20 stress? Died under mysterious circumstances. I'm going a minute. Hang on a minute. I mean, that does present us with an opportunity, but she was our soulmate. She was a flagellant. I mean, she was into all sorts of things. Where are we going to find... Where are we going to find a replacement like that? She was pregnant, too. Where is our spy master? Hmm. Okay, Apollonio. Uh, okay, question mark here. Disrupt schemes. Ooh, I feel something. Hmm. She's ambitious. Hang on a second. Why wasn't the scheme discovered? Please let me know. Disrupt schemes. Hmm. Interesting. I hope we find out. Interesting. Was she really the target? We didn't we never had any lovers. Very interesting. Okay. Let's go to our children and just assign educations and then we will think about finding ourselves a wife. I mean she was she was getting a bit old, she was right. But she was our soulmate and like I said, she was into all sorts of things. Okay. Oh, sad. That is a sad day. I don't understand why I've lost 20 stress as opposed to gained. A little odd. But Princess Anna is bossy. Anna can often be seen ordering other children around. While, she, while she's concerned with getting things done the right way, getting things done her way is equally important. Stewardship and Marshal. Let's go ahead and go into a steward. The study of administration, management and the flow of gold. Uh, let's give her a garden. Well, let's, uh, hang on, let's. So sure, let's give her a garden. Fine. I mean, we're not really good at anything. Leontia, Spartanus, Fornicator, Adulterer, Possessed. Jeez. Area. Oh, we don't have any good stewards. No, our kingdom is. Who's our... Oh, Mayor Philaretus. Why won't he accept? Yeah, you. Why can't you teach one of our children? Offer word. Princess Anna. Ward must first travel to Guardian's court. He will definitely accept. He is a fortune. He's calm, just, and compassionate. He's a minor landholder. My landholder vassals wish for freedom and low taxes. All volunteer rules will adopt this vassal's stance. Okay, they like low crown authority and dislike when baronies are revoked and has high crown authority. They prefer generous and compassionate heirs. Okay, Mayor Philaretus's opinion of you. So lustful and deviant gives us minus 25. Personal diplomacy over the main limit. Ooh, we suddenly become over the main limit. First of all, let's go ahead and sway him. Second of all, let's uh Yeah, off award. 
In Prince Princess Anna. Uh, city of Gaeta. County of Capua. Okay. So let's go ahead. That's Princess Anna. Now, Prince Manuel of Sicily. He's rowdy. Marshal of Intrigue. Make him Marshal. He's a leper. Prowess minus 8. Fertility minus 95. Health severe penalty. Mm. Natural dread. Manuel's skin is marked with lesions and discolored patches. Indicative of their reduced ability to feel pleasure. Pain and other sensations. Yeah, I guess he's not really... The study of warfare and combat and the commanding of armies. Yeah, I doubt he'll be very popular with the troops. He could be a schemer, however. The study of secrecy, shadows, and careful planning. Sure. Oh, you know what we could do then? Uh, what if we make... Hang on a second. Where is this, our... Duke Marcus of Sicily. Of a ward. My son, Prince Manuel. Will accept. Send him off. He sir, could also become our spy, but he's lazy, vengeful, and deceitful. Now, I don't want him as my. I was thinking of putting him on the council as well. Right? And just patch up the relationship. But. Oh, I don't think uh, we want someone deceitful and of doubtful loyalties as our spy master. He can look after our leper son. That's okay. Prince Dionysius of Sicily. He doesn't have any traits yet. Okay. So let's go ahead and unpause. Just keep the time rolling. But let's also find ourselves a spouse. Philippe de Mandois has a claim on the county of Como. I would be happy to... Okay, greetings, my charming liege. I'll be happy to educate your daughter, Anna Spartanus. A noble upbringing for a noble spirit. Excellent. Okay, so we want some more fertile. Let's see who is... Who is the fairest of them all? God, giant scaly skin, seriously. Where are... Uh, we are lustful, so we will prioritize looks over absolutely everything else. And quick. Rice. There we go. Comely. Katalin Tirovic. Croatian. Catholic. Oh. Arrogant, brave, generous. She's 28, though. A little, uh, a little bit old. There we go. That's better. 21. Dri Drislava Velikratsky. I would be happy to educate your son, Manuel Spartanus. A noble upbringing for a noble spirit. Excellent. Okay, she's comely. Drislava Velikratsky. Slovian Catholic. Hmm? She's got 15 stewardship. Your daughter Anna has safely arrived in Gaeta. Now she'll begin her lessons forthwith. Okay, 15 opinion. Fine. So let's uh, pin this lady. Uh, let's just have a look a little bit. Where is this? Oh, hang on. Uh, let's just pause. It's gonna, your royal court is now court grand level three. Okay, she's city of Radish. Spouses died of old age. Oh, she's been. Oh, she's forty years old. Oh dear, she's hale and comely though. No, but we... Ah, oh, no, wait, 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 hang on. Yeah, that's her liege, right? Yeah, we need... This one's content, just like us, forgiving. Oh, we'll get on well, thrifty clerk. I think that is a match, but let's just... Let's just have a quick look, what else? What else is out there? Comely, 26, 25... And she's in good health, unlike these other ladies. Comely, 20 years old. Comely, intelligent, patient, generous, and zealous. French. 
Mm, she doesn't like us though. Temptation, focus, zealous. Of too much. Too much. We just want to, you know, make as many children as we want. Twenty. Dorothea Constant, Constantius, just, impatient, and generous, comely. Greek and Orthodox, but I mean, this is a perfect match. Forgiving, content, diligent. That is a good wife. And pretty. I don't. Oh, 33, though. She's pretty. She is also lustful. And she doesn't really like us. I mean, Drislava doesn't like us much either. But mainly for culture and orthodoxy reasons. Homely and intelligent, 30 years old, low-born. She's just generous, gregarious, and temperate. She's 30 years old. She's Greek. An Orthodox, but... Mm, questionable. Second. Trusting, craven, shy, 31 years old. Oh. Sorry. A little too much. Yeah, I think Drislava. Drislava is really... 39. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. I don't think we will be able to find anyone better, really. Look, adult. Say adult, maximum age. Say 25. Culture, religion, sexuality, gender. Female, obviously. Quick look. Dorothea Constantius. No. Oh, I think Drislava is the perfect second wife. Claudia Cacianimici. Kathleen Sasalpin. 11 11. He's stubborn, wrathful. Oh God! No, it's, this is this is a good wife. This is a great wife. In fact, vastly inferior alliance, though. Uh, grand wedding, matrilineal marriage. She will accept. Those two hundred prestige. Oh, very close relative of Mayor Yaromira. Hmm. Chance of children very high. No, we need. Fine, we don't care. We're content and humble. We don't care about prestige. We care about carnal pressures. And Drislava looks like she has uh, a lot of potential. Alliance formed with Mayor... Whoever. Mayor Yaromira of Hradec nad Moravici. Oh boy. Here we are. Go ahead and seduce her. Things can sway. The son Manuel has safely arrived in Calabria, and I shall begin his lessons forthwith. Very good. Oh, gained up to 30 opinion of you. Parochial guard of your relative, plus five for a month. Nice. That's exactly what he wanted. Um, let's go ahead and start a scheme to seduce Trislava. Not. We can't wait. A new wife. Here we are. Inspired person. Is that still the armor? Uh, not interested. Just not... Not needed. Court event available. Murder holes and priest holes. A pallid individual who looks as if she has spent her entire life skulking underground is lurking in the corner of my throne room. I've heard tell you... I've heard tell you might want a secret passage installed. I can draft. I can craft any impure order your twisted heart desires. You can even add an oubliette to your bedroom for your lover to throw you into the heat of passion. I admit I would like to be thrown into an oubliette, stark naked. Ooh, gain a luring confidence. Ninety gold. You gain ten grander. Hmm. Yeah, I would like to. Of course, I would. Okay, we're now at level 4. 
Making nine per month. Let's check Forgia. The Antiochian Divergence. Small changes in dialect, slightly different customs. It was easy to miss at first. Over time, small changes led to large ones, however. And now the Greeks living in Armani have begun to identify themselves as Antiochian instead. Oh. By both helping their neighbors through tragedy and sharing in their triumphs, the Ant Antiochian Greeks are forming tight-knit bonds of community which foster a sense of belonging and purpose. Whether out of skillful, ma skillful manipulation or a genuine desire to lead his people into a new era, Emir Leon has positioned himself as the leader of this cultural awakening. We will see how the situation develops. Okay. Empty council position. Your, your counselor, Theodulus, succumbed to fatal apoplexy. Sad. A gift of labor. Everyone appreciates a gift. But perhaps I could come up with some something truly unique that will take that will make a real impression on this Patissa Gislava. An embroidery featuring her house crest. Commissioned poetry on the joys of life dedicated to her. Hmm. I think this Patissa Gislava appreciates a physical pleasure of life, or at the ver or at the very least, poetry. And also that she's a simple, simple town girl, no? I received the poem of the joys life you sent. I am unsure as to the reason why you sent me a gift like this, but I took note of it. What did I do wrong? Scheme success chance minus 10, but it's okay. No one resists Sergius. No one resists Sergius. That's for sure. What's going on? Yeah, let's increase, increase control in Lucera. We're changing culture, changing religions. We have built hamlets. We also own Fogia. And we also build something else, perhaps? I am attending the dance not simply because I am the lord of the castle, but because I want to see Despotissa Gislava there. She looks resplendent, and when we finally have a moment to ourselves, I offer my suggestion. Join me in the circle for the next dance, my lady. A walk in the garden away from all this. This Batista Chislava and I walked gardens talking about all manner of things. We eventually realized we had both lost track of time and when we returned the, and when we returned the dance had already started winding down. What an e what an evening we had. Smoldering chemistry. We just have a gain to trait pregnant. There we go. Back at it. Archer Kirillus of Sicily finished the convert faith, convert faith in county, convert faith county task, sorry, in Salerno. Please. The servants have all been sent away and our bed has been decorated with roses. As Dispatissa Jaslava enters our chambers, she smiles patiently and joins me without any hesitation. With the help of hands, mouths, and limbs, we reaffirm the devotion we swore before God, perhaps in a more carnal fashion than intended. Oh yes, as we were united in marriage, we are now united in heart. She becomes our lover. Yes. You will be secret, as I lean over to pick up a scripture to study. My son, Porphyrius, barges through the door, interrupting my tranquil solitude. Father, you won't believe what I found out about Petros, your martial and acclaimed knight. He pauses to catch his breath for dramatic effect. Well then, speak. Le Petros' cannibal secret. Are you kidding me? You're a cannibal? The character consumes human flesh. What? Okay, Patrick. Oh, finished. Hang on. Empty council position. Okay, so we had a chance to die. Let's just convert all the faith. Let's Camarda. Let's also convert that from Catholicism. It was under. We actually converted everything to Orthodox before, but then Duke of. I think Prince Pascalis actually converted everything to Catholicism for some reason. Let's go ahead and pick a new Chancellor. You go Arsenius, your 
Tari, he's a low born, but he's a great eminence, as familiar with the nuances of diplomacy as the back of his hand, since he's a master of the art. Also, Blade Master, he's vengeful. He's a peasant leader, since he's a jumped up peasant who revolted against his betters. Uh, he's scarred. Visibly wearing the memories of battles or accidents. Arsenius is not noticeably scarred. Do we really want a peasant leader? As our chancellor? Compassionate, calm, just, fortune builder. Mayor Philaretus of Gaeta. I, mean, I know he has the highest stat, but he's shy, he's vengeful, and he has risen up before. No, sorry, but no. Gallant, however, aspiring blade master of noble blood. It's honest. Go ahead, this is. This is Lazarus Petrolifus. Yeah, he's a giant. Okay. He's the husband of Leontia, who's fathered two children. But no one really knows who their father is. While she was at Emperor's court as a hostage. Mr. Alexia the Insane. Request, claim, offer hostage, demand hostage, offer to join in war. Swear fealty, we don't want. Not that much that we want from her. Mm. My son, Orgeslava, you have been so brave, so strong. Words cannot describe my love for you, and now we have a perfect little son. Who will you become, my child, and what shall I call you? Alexius. May you grow, be, may you grow to be strong and wise, my son. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six children. Oh. She's our lover. After we've been joined together in matrimony, you seduced the Svatisa Truslava. It is time to decide how to treat Manuel's leprosy. While I am fairly certain a simple tincture would suffice, the choice is your my, my lord. I'll trust your judgment. He's a good, good physician. Bilal Al-Khatib. I trust your judgment. Even though you are a heathen. Peekaboo. I can hear it echoing down the corridor. Light giggles occasionally breaking out into full peel peals of laughter. As I round the corner, the culprits are revealed. Porphyrius, with, judging by the discarded books strewn across the table, his studies very much abandoned, has his half-brother Alexius clutched in his arms. The baby burbles happily as Por Porphyrius peeks through his fingers at him, the two of them giggling happily. It is good they're spending time together. Prince Porphyrius of Sicily gains tight knit for 25 years. Close family opinion plus 15. This character remembers their youth in the in the safe and warm bosom of their family and still retains close ties to them today. Porphyrius, remember your studies. Learning is increased by one, but he gains 19 stress. Now it is good that they're spending time with his little brother. His mother just died. And I want to know how. Irene Malius has a claim on the Duchy of... Obsidian. You know what, actually, why don't we learn secrets in Napoli? Someone must know. Oof, here we go, let's pause for a second. And let's go, our dynasty. You have enough renown to unlock a dynasty legacy for your, for your dynasty. There we go, the second legacy. We've gone with law the first time, sound administration and just rule in the eyes of vassals and peasants alike. Alright, popular opinion plus 5, hunt and feast cost minus 30%. Now we can get faithful magistrates, title creation cost minus 20%, control growth plus 0.2 per month. And it's power and prosperity, building construction cost, holding construction cost, monthly stewardship. We've had a good line of stewards and we are Greek. And we're civilized, we're, we're good at you know, law, that is what differentiates us from the rest. Delegate authority, powerful vassal opinion, plus five, powerful vassal council attacks, contribution, powerful vassal councillor levy, contribution plus 10%. Home estate, domain limit, plus one, control territory, defender advantage, plus five. Let's go with faithful magistrates, control growth, plus 0 0.2. Traditional spotness. To truly experience the world, we must experience other people. 
Mm. Righteous wars with large armies and skilled Hetaria and commanders. House of warriors. Yeah, we haven't really had any, frankly. We haven't had a single king who would have a martial education. I think two kings ago, I think it was Gregorius. He had, at least he had a high martial, but we always relied on uh, our Hetaria to... Um, conduct warfare, so I don't think that's runs in our blood. Guile, however, we have had quite a few uh, uh, intrigue-focused uh, rulers. Mastery of underhanded schemes and rule founded on fear. Dread. And such. Careful reading to produce the most worthy successes. Erudition. Skilled guests. Clerical approval. Glory. Respect and loyalty with which others want to be associated. Kin. Large, skilled families where members aid and support each other. And there have been some rebellions, unfortunately. Yeah, that's... It's always faithful magistrates. I feel like that's the... Uh, yeah, there we go. And we have needed to increase control. We have had a lot of experience in expanding our territory, managing it, and increasing control everywhere. So let's go ahead. Um, Pope Clements... Tournament. I don't think we're really interested. We're humble and content. We don't want anything. Lustful. That's what we are. He cannot be fired for 25 years. Oh, yeah, because, oh that's because we gave him the counselor rights. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's go ahead and sway him. Because we want to be a good terms with... Uh, our spy master. No, we're not saying 157 for 13 opinion that declines over three years. It's crazy. A, far, a faction targeting you has disbanded. Faction to install Prince Marcus of Calabria on the Sicilian throne. Oof, Crusader kings. Christian pilgrims to the Holy Land suffer all manner of abuse. All their roots are fraught with danger. In order to protect the pilgrims and secure Jerusalem for Christ and the faithful, His Holiness, Pope Clements, has accepted the possibility of an outright invasion by joint Christian forces. The theological ramifications of this news are already being discussed by the Ecumenical Patriarch and other no notable members of our clergy, who are eager to follow the example of the Catholics and begin a new age of religious warfare in the name of Orthodoxy. If they say so, Christian faiths now have access to Crusades, Christ. We're just not interested. We like our we like our life here. Here in Napoli. Prince Pascalis and one of your other Hitera entered Pope Clement's second melee contest. Interesting. Task finished. Find secrets task. While performing his duties as my spy master, Prince Marcos has uncovered a secret held by my aunt Leontia. She seems to be harboring doubts about orthodox doctrine. Oh, Leontia. Leontia. What would the clergy say? The sign of a weak soul. You'll know Leontia Spartan says non believer secret. There's possessed. And an adulterer. And a fornicator. Leontia has copulated outside of wealth wedlock. Leontia has violated the sanctity of marriage by copulating with another. She is. Passing suspicion. It is a well-known fact that courtiers will scheme and plot, but I may be able to use this to my advantage. If I can keep my courtiers suspicious for each other, of each other and distracted by infighting, they will not have time or resources to scheme against me. I will begin spreading rumors at once. As long as I place some spies among them, I will be safe. Yeah, this character has spread spies among their court to report on any scheming or plotting. Yeah, I think... Right, let's go. Few extra spies will do the do the trick. Arrange betrothal. On, let's pause for a second. The most des the most the modest despot surges of Sicily. I propose the betrothal between my daughter, the Dilda Carling Marson, and your cousin Arsenius Spartanus. King Ima the Brave of Aquitaine. Daughter of King Imar. Okay, she is 16. He's 14. 
Arsenius gets 800 prestige. Children will be born to house Spartanus. In a medium. Sure. Of course. Do we have an alliance then now? Quickly unlock smooth operators. Reduce scheme success chance plus 25%. You can learn one additional language without any penalties. Sure. How's our heir doing? We need to marry our heir to someone. County. It behooves a desperate to spend time at sea, with the salty air in his face and, f and a fine vessel beneath his feet. The day sees my personal craft and a small escort and squadron out for drills, practice and pleasure. The short voyage has been an exhilarating change of pace from life at court when we spot it. A distant plume of water, followed by a small island of wine, wine dark flesh rolling out of the waves. The greatest beast of all, of all the deeps, a whale. Get the harpoons, let the others handle it. Just bring me the carcass. Creature of fearsome majesty. Leave it. The whale goes free, yeah. We're humble and content. No need. This bravado. Naturism. We're making 10 per month though. Is there anything at all we can build? No. Hmm. A duchy building. Can we build a duchy building in Capua? While performing his duties as my spy master, Prince Marcos has uncovered a secret held by my aunt Leontia. Arsenius is in fact the bastard child of Leontia and Count Theophilus. Okay, your cousin, Count Sefer, this is who she was doing at Vazirius's court. Okay. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, she was put there against her will. We don't know. I don't really know what she was up to. What she was made to do. Oh, look at that. We actually have... Let's see, your patriarch. We actually have finally one, uh, one temple, Barony. Expertise of Slava gained architectural expertise. With experience of just our administrative abilities have increased. Oh, and we can even control six holdings now. Okay. Uh, okay, so this is our brother. Rasano will eventually go to the Duke of Calabria, so... Not that I'm particularly keen on improving that. Could do County of Benevento. Duchy of Benevento. Create title for 125. Gives 300. Go ahead and create that, right? In level of fame. The Deer of Isernia. My Marshal Petrus, known for his interest in venery, brings rumors, rumor of beasts spotted in my realm. I'm hearing much talk from the County of Benevento. It is said, it is said there are excellent prospects for hunting thereabouts, with many a worthy roe seen roaming the slopes. Interesting, County Benevento gained game sighting for three years. A glut of promising game has been sighted in this count county. Do not bother me with this. You will not receive sighting events until you hold a hunt. Interesting, let's go for a hunt. I mean, we're 30 years old. We don't get out often. Despite our best efforts, my agents have yet to uncover any secrets here at court. Okay, let us not let us not waste more time. Okay, let's go back to disrupt schemes. Let's go ahead and go on a hunt. The chase provides. I mean, I'm definitely not much of a hunter. All right, anticipated. The chase provides thrills and dangers in abundance, and serves. Oh, hang on a second. The apple falls. Lately, I've been pondering the education of my son, Pancratius. Is scholarship really the appropriate direction? Since being trained in intrigue myself, I have found that particular knowledge to serve me well. Surely, it should do the same for him. Uh, doing okay, he's pensive. Now, oh. patient. A varying skill set is only beneficial. This will further... Pancratius is learning education focus. Yeah, let's go. 
Just like his brother. Let's see, do shall we go on a hunt? The chase provides thrills and dangers in abundance and serves to provide a firm grounding in riding and archery. Hunts are overseen by master of the hunt who will announce sightings of beasts, common, rare and fierce. Anticipated rewards from hosting a hunt may gain glory hound vassal opinion, may gain trophy artifacts, prestige of stress, may gain hunter, this when acclaimed knights gain, may gain glory. 190 it costs. You are not employing a master of the hunt now. Ah, uh, it's fine. I think we're content. Force negotiate alliance. I eagerly propose to formalize the ties that already bind us together by signing an alliance between our realms. Uh, Prince Pascalis. Sh I mean, Bowman, Pikeman. Mm. Doesn't like us. Mostly refusal. Oh. Okay, fine. Let's just accept our lines. She's. I mean, it's better better than him rebelling against us. Demand artifact. You have something that should legitimately belong to me. Relinquish it at once. What? Lucky green coin. Stewardship plus stress level plus one. Domain taxes plus two. Monthly stewardship lifestyle. Uh, sorry, but no. Why should it belong to you? Contrite, reclusive, Marcus often sequesters himself away and neglects his responsibilities. Contrite, Marcus suffers from a guilty conscience after feeling compelled to confess things better left unmentioned. Oh, he really is vengeful and deceitful. But I have to keep him on our council. I have to, and he's my spy master. Oh, I'm gonna have to give up the coin. Just to keep him happy. Petros Mazaris finished the increased control task. Perfect. Anywhere else? Okay, let's increase control. So learn it even though it's not our province. To be honest. So let's just go and train commanders. Um, what else? Okay, so we're changing culture in Benevento. Really wish all Sicilian. No, that will not stand. Here, culture is Lombard. I need to change that ASAP. Head religion. Yeah. Okay, so seven years for Capua. Prince Marcus converted culture. Went from Greek to Sicilian. To keep re-educating people, aren't we? But fine, we are the despot of Sicily. We are Duchy of Capua, Duchy of Benevento, County of Napoli. But this is just how again the trade pregnant. Excellent. Let's have a look. Capua. Duchy building. Ooh, 450. Boy. Boiling anger. You might be a despot, but you're, an, but you're also a spilen, spineless pervert. Princess Apollonia of Sicily, your sister. The unprovoked anger expressed by my sister Apollonia comes as a complete surprise. She has been under a lot of stress lately. But to behave like this? That even she struggles. It's calming. What's wrong? Sister, she's ambitious, irritable. Stress has made Apollonia prone to frequent outbursts and tantrums. Successor, the pride of Napoli, gains the thug attribute. Xenopentris becomes your acclaimed knight, loses 136 glory. Councillor Petrus died old age. Well, let's pause. The Chancellor Terrier. Terrier. Brother, vassal Prince Pascalis. He's a misguided warrior. Pascal has received an education in the art of war, but it is more like but is more likely to hurt himself than his enemies. Oh, it's calm and just go ahead and bring him on the council. Not that he's any good, but uh, it's fine. We have all our powerful vassals here. That is okay.
What is the Duchy of Benevento? So County of Benevento? Duchy of Fogia. And Fogia we actually own ourselves. We have two fishing net weavers. A workshop where fishing nets are woven has been set up here. Day in and day out nets are made and repaired tirelessly. And then people build log forts. Archers, skirmishers. Can we replace this building with... Uh, Mm, station arches, outposts, forestry, large amounts, ooh. large amounts of lumber, resin, charcoal, and other resources are harvested from these forests, providing an excellent nearby source of building material for the surrounding towns. This holding, building construction time minus two percent tax, zero point three, lowered hunt success chance for hunt activities hosted in this holding. Okay. We have a few forest counties. Hmm. What does this give at level 8? It says this holding minus 20. Yeah, so we need more building slots, really. Make this worthwhile. We don't need, we don't need the wood. For now. We can put hunting grounds in here. Dotted through these lands are several large lodges where hunters of wild game can gather and plan their excursions. Bender increases hunt sighting chance and hunt success chance for hunt activities hosted in this holding. Hmm. Hang on a second. Hunt. Let's just say plan a hunt. Firm. Forest. So that gives a benefit, but high development gives a negative. Row sighting. High development. We have high development everywhere, but row sighting is just temporary benefit, right? Row. Now holding hills is mountains, terrain. See, if we actually did build uh, hunting lodges there, that would be very good. The forest gives already two. Yeah, okay. No holding would give us one. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go ahead and unpause just to keep the time rolling. What else can we build in here? Forestry, hunting grounds, barracks, militia camps, stables, blacksmith? No. I suggest we build hunting grounds. So that gives tax. Zero, two, although... Maybe we do just stick with log forts. Or earth ramparts. That would give us... Fourth level, two. Holding taxes, plus two percent. Danger minus two. Archers, we would station archers in these woods. And they would learn to uh, to hunt, I guess. Become better archers. In Fogia. Right, as opposed to uh, changing this to hunting grounds. Preview. 1.3 tax, hostile raid time plus 80%. Defender advantage plus 16 from gamekeepers lodges. Men at arms maintenance holder of this holding minus 1%. Development growth plus 2%. If you have hunting grounds and if you go outposts, lookout towers. Okay, we outposts actually give increased hunt sighting chance for hunt activities. One. Log forts, a fort level plus eight, holding taxes, defender advantage, danger, archers plus 40 percent, skirmishers. Hmm, this will basically make our archers very strong and this province very difficult to siege. All right, to so give eight levels of a fort, fishing net weavers. Sarah. Mm. We have a city of Vieste here. Barony of Lavrino. Mm. Log forts, forest forts. Small wooden forts stand as part of the forest. Either we get a lot of high fort level and great archer benefits. Where are our archers stationed now? 
Napoli they still get plus five. Why are they stationed now? Hmm. Our first legion is stationed in Napoli, I hope, right? Station, okay. That's our first legion. Okay, our second legion. Will be based in Capua. Makes sense. Our archers will be based in Okay, Station Lucera. Okay, they're already stationed in Lucera, fine. Onagers are stationed in Sera Trani. Okay. We have four hundred, we could actually it wouldn't really cost us much. Very full, so it's unraised, it's a half. Go ahead and increase the number of archers we have. Let's go ahead and build these earth ramparts. Long banks of earth from a form a defensive boundary around the fort, hindering enemy advances. It'll be the training grounds for our archers. Let's have a look at duchy buildings. What is actually possible? Milit military academies. Dedicated facilities for training officers and knights, improving their efficiency in combat. Men at arms recruitment costs minus 10. Army gold maintenance minus 2.5%. Number of knights plus 2. Knights effectiveness plus 25. Size of men at arms measurements plus 1. That is great military schools. Enables the train knights travel option. Oh, train knights. Okay. Greetings, my charming liege. I have arrived in Napoli to pay homage to you. Glorious Despot has a show of my loyalty. I hope my pledge of submission alone is evidence enough of my honor. Okay. Show Prince Prince Pascalis in at once. I wait patiently on my throne for the arrival of Prince Pascalis, who is soon announced and ushered before me. He kneels in deference, in deference offering nothing but his oath to faithfully serve as a vassal of the Despotate. At last I bid the dukes arise, confirming my satisfaction and Pascalis' right to the lands he rules in my stead. Serve me well, Prince Pascalis. Okay, he gains 75 prestige. I gain 75 prestige. He gained 50 renown. Okay. okay. Military academies. We can also build marchers. Marcher lords protect the borders from for, with fortifications and local garrisons. All holdings in this duchy. Okay, through downcast lashes. As my eyes meet Mayor Raymond's for Mayor Raymond's Raymond's for what feels like the twentieth time tonight, I know I am not imagining things. Even from the other side of the table, her gaze feels as intense as the midday sun. She wants me. I am terrified of her, of her husband, Mayor Bartholomeus, or of what I might do. I cannot say. Hang on, she's twenty-four. Ambitious, zealous, and lazy. Catholic Rhinelander reminds us of our wife. Ex-wife. Our late wife. Raymond is adequate. Okay. And who is Mayor Bartholomew of Amalfi? I will give her a good tumble. I will find Mayor, Mayor Raymond once everyone is asleep. You gain 20 stress because you are content. Everyone will know her, of her sinful thoughts. No, my heart remains pure. No, I'll give her a good tumble. We are content, but we're also lustful. After, afterwards, Raymond falls to the mattress with a thump, her breath ragged and eyes half closed. Languorously, languorously, I wipe the sweat of her chest with gentle fingers. Merely a moment later, Raymond pushes my hand away with an apologetic smile. It's nearly morning. Morning. I better leave. Indeed, you better hurry. He's pleased. It's always good. My prisoner Theognosia died in my dungeons. Oh, what do we even have in our dungeons? Oh, Jislava, you've been so brave. There we go. We have a perfect little son, Gregorius Eustinos. May you grow to be strong and wise, my son. Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are number seven. Look at Prince Alexio still hasn't developed any traits. Leading towards stewardship a little bit there. Ooh, another thinker. A 
And he's pensive. Learning and stewardship. I guess it seems like he's leaning towards stewardship. Let's go ahead and educate Prince Dionysius. Who do we have? Despotisa Gislava, Leontia Spartanus. She's a fortune builder. Where is our... Where is our... Uh... Hang on a second. Offer ward. Refurious comes of age. Okay, wait, hang on a second. Dionysius. Alright. Oh, he can be with his sister, Gaeta, and get a good... Stewardship education, Porphyrius comes of age. I am proud to see my son no longer as a child, but as, a, but as an adult. Always the curious and knowledge-hungry child, Porphyrius has shown an affinity for scholarship from an early age. His understanding of philosophical and theoretical works is impressive, and he often engages in debate with his former teachers. Even at such young age, he can be heard quoting obscure passages to support new ideas and theories. They grow up so fast. As a mastermind philosopher, he's zealous, brave, and but arrogant. Well, Dionysius departs. Okay, let's pause. That's our player, heir, and son. Fearless zealot. Spartans will act towards you and others according to his person. Okay. Character is very zealous and will significantly more often join de defensively against holy wars. Pledge or donate to great holy wars. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and unpause at a slow speed. We need to find him a wife. My sign, Dionysius, is more likely to receive a good education to do this with this is just love tutelage. Greetings, Dionysius safely arrived in Gaeta. Perfect. Um uh, I think we did have the troth can marry. Let's pause. That is Arsenius, 16, and Princess the Dilda of Aquitaine. We will accept. I gladly accept your marriage proposal. Your cousin Arsenius and my daughter the Dilda will be joined in holy matrimony. Excellent. Oof, Burgundy. We did not get an alliance, however. We are allied to... Mm, a few odd people. What about Aquitaine? Does it have any more daughters? Princess the Dilda. Okay, his heir is Prince and Grand of Aquitaine, 14. Betrothed is a violent, violent Pileus de Vasconia. Okay, who, who does this belong to, for example? The Dukes Polycarpos of Sicily. Princess Eustathia. Leon Concotimus. Hmm. Basilisa Alexeia the Insane. 5,388 men. Cataphracts, Bowman, Pikeman, Honors. 3,000 levies. Hmm? We can take her on. We'll see. Let's have a look. Are there any. Decent, sir. Let's go ahead and pause. Keep the time running. Can we find a good wife here? The age difference five. No, actually, all. Maximum age twenty five. Fertile culture. His Byzantine heritage. Eupraxia Spartanus, your cousin. That would be a bit odd. Amari Aran Shahik. Apostolic. Founded by the Apostles Bartholomew and Thaddeus. The Armenian Apostolic Church rapidly gained followers in the region and shepherded the Kingdom of Armenia into becoming the first state ever to adopt Christianity as its official state. This official religion, sorry. Anush. Armenian. Armenian, Greek, Yella, Twenty, Zabel, Kazarian, Armenian, pretty, chaste, they were generous and honest. 
What's up? What's up with that? Devil dislikes intimate contact, avoiding the temptations of the flesh. And Prince Porphyrius is a bit of a geek as well. He's zealous, brave, and arrogant. Oh, at least she's beautiful. Hmm. Let's have a think. Who would be a good match? Let's keep the time rolling. Eighteen. He's not a great steward at all. Have a Greek ambitious, diligent, and gregarious. Epiphania Chrysanthos. They are unmarried. Yes, decision available. Hold court. Also, inspired person can be sponsored. Sure, okay. Anush Schnorhali. Shake them over like then. Greta. Alexandretta, okay, next to Antioch. Um, sorry. That. So, Anush, she's a hunter, she's quick, thrifty clerk, but lazy. Lazy and ambitious, 18. Now, son is only 16. We can wait a little bit, I think. Let him get on with his studies. Doesn't look like there are any particularly good candidates right now. What I was going to check is in, is I thought, County of Napoli. We can build a university. Indeed, this is, can gain, gain the trait pregnant. No time to lose, Sergius. A university is a place of higher learning reserved for those of good standing and wealth who are deemed worthy enough. It attracts scholars and scientists who debate, study scribe and ultimately pool their knowledge within its walls. Reduce cost for hosting grand tournament board game and recital concerts in this holding. The culture has discovered barracks. Development growth. Wow, holder. Renown. We'll see. Now yeah, that's a good building to build. Uh, let's have a look at our culture. Innovations were now in early medieval period for about 20 years and we have discovered Oh, we have the barracks was the last galaxy was from the tribal era to the squeamish despot Sergius due to your obvious lack of piety a condition which worries the church greatly I've granted Count Theoctistus of Benevento a claim on Duchy of Benevento at his request this is a travesty travesty How dare you Fine, so we got unlocked barracks. By constructing dedicated buildings for us to quarter our soldiers in, we can make sure that we are su we have sufficient space to accommodate our growing armies. Unlocked all tribal era military buildings. Military buildings are buildings whose primary function is to increase the number of levies they provide to their holder. Uh, don't really need the barracks. We rely on men at arms. Mots unlocks all tribal era fortification buildings. Simple yet effective. Building our castles on raised earthen mounds is the best way to ensure we quite literally have the high ground over our enemies. Banners. Based on the authority to command men in battle, the ban gives our rulers the power to compel free men to fight for them, forming a legal basis for the mustering of large armies. Unlocks March Feudal Contract, Levy Reinforcement at plus 15% and Accolades plus 1. Okay, we have everything unlocked from the Tribal Era now. What are we fascinated with? Royal Prerogative. As our royalty has a greater burden placed upon them by their responsibility to govern the realm, so too shall they be bestowed with privileges reserved exclusively for them. Okay, can enact high crown authority law, can enact absolute crown authority law. Court vassals are more common, courtly vassals are more common. Expected to be discovered in about 14 years. There's an 84% chance to gain 0.5 progress each month. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and unpause. Keep making children. Look at orthodoxy. Fervor, 87%. What are the tenets? Communion. Characters may seek indulgences from their head of faith to pay gold in exchange for piety. Characters who have committed criminal acts may seek indulgences to for gain forgiveness for them instead. Intra perk available. Seducer. 
Um, that's who we are. You cannot resist Sergius. Cannot resist Sergius. It's not difficult to desire. The true challenge is to be desired. Indeed. Indeed. Princess Anna. We'll marry her off when we can. Look, we haven't picked education for all luck. It's a story about the five roars. Drinks have been have been had, and Drislava is calling out to me for a story. My first thought is of a famous Greek folktale, a classic that never fails to delight. On the other hand, what if I told a story of my own life? Perhaps of the time I imprisoned Count the Oxystus of Benevento. Let's keep it traditional. Let's keep it traditional. I don't think she would be uh, very keen to hear how we imprisoned Count the Oxystus, who actually rose up to put uh, to put Prince Pascalis on the throne. It didn't happen. Let's go ahead and just. The education for our Prince Alexius. He's now three years old. He's curious again. There's rarely a silent moment with Alexius. Constantly asking questions. He's curious about everything and everyone. Three. Oh, another. What is this? Orgislava, you have been so brave. Okay, we have a perfect little daughter, Nicoletta. Eudokia. Liana, Apollonia, Antonia, Barbara. Let's go with Barbara. Let's go with learning education. Let's focus and let's uh, educate child. Who's our highest learning? Your player, heir, and son. Yeah, he can educate. Well, in fact, uh, Patriarch Kirillus, an older man. Do a good job. He's done a good job with the, our son. I think an 18 year old probably has better things to do than look after the education of Prince Alexius. Neopo Clements has lost against Sultan Muzaffaradin of Al Amuri in the crusade for the Kingdom of Jerusalem. Well, they're all up for 37, humble, content, and lustful. We are a seducer doing just fine. Despotisa Jaslava, 26. Oh, she's ill. Hang on a second, do we have a court physician? We do have a court position. Okay, hopefully she'll be okay. Aquarian, carbon mast, and food taster. Royal architect. My almoner, senatorial, cup bearer, court jester, court musician, bodyguards, chief eunuch. We need a wet nurse. That, that she would have paid for herself five hundred times over. What does she need? For a wet nurse. Wet nurse is a symbol of the court's wealth and prosperity. Hang on. A woman tasked with nursing children, shielding them from disease and minding their development. A hale and healthful candidate is essential. Let's go ahead and have a look. Peekaboo. I can hear it echoing down the corridor. Light giggles, occasionally breaking out into full peals of laughter. As I round the corner, the culprits are revealed. Perfirious. Player Aaron's son, Eteria. No, hang on a second. He's six. He's a mastermind philosopher. So let's just do this before we forget. Uh, excuse me, sir. The player Aaron forbid him. Do we have any other sons of ours? Anyone below ten, frankly, should be probably forbidden. Your brother-in-law. Okay, that's fine. Okay, well, it's good that they're spending time together. They're tight-knit. Yeah. So, another minute arms reg regiment available. Search for wet nurse. With a mind to provide the best of care of to our children, I've had my functionary seek out able women for the role of wet nurse. Now, they present a few locals for my judgment. I prefer... I prefer the experience of Zenobia. Who is she? She's a dwarf. Lustful, vengeful, patient. Let's go 
God, no. You for soon is good enough. I slow? No, I don't like any of them. Guys, come on. Can do better than that. Niece taken prisoner. Huh. My niece Pelagia and my niece Eusebia were captured by Dukes Theocaristos of Thessalonica during the siege of Carcianon. Who is she? Her mother was your sister, Princess Pavlina of Sicily. Died in her sleep. Okay. Hey. Jailer. Request claim. Okay, let's go ahead and unpause. But can we murder and gift? Who's your jailer? Of a ward? Can't really sway. Request claim. Oh, can't free her, unfortunately. Okay. Well, I think we've come up on the hour, guys. So let's pause. Let's make a cut here. And uh, yeah, hope you're enjoying it. And let's see just how many children can uh, desperate Sergius sire with his lustfulness. I mean, which, he's content. He's humble. He's sitting at home. He's a king. It's 939 AD. There isn't much to do in southern Italy. Weather is good. Food is good. Wives are all comely. Homely and nice, and they're content themselves. Oof. Peace at home. Yeah, this is the result. Right, here we go, guys. Yeah. So I'll make a cut here, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Hope you're enjoying it. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and bye.